Uh, so, in coming tonight, I wanted to, um, <coughs> I, I'm, put, I'm finishing a, a book of poetry that I'm talking to some people about publishing, and, um, yay, yay, that's <laughs> hooray, that's wonderful, <laughs> um, but I really wanted to, um, do kind of an improv poem that'll only happen once. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, because I'm, I'm into that. So I was working on lines from this, and you will only hear this once. It may never be heard again. So, feel privileged. Maybe on YouTube. Maybe on YouTube. <laughs> Where everything lives. Everything. That's what they should call it now. Um, so, uh, this is a poem to Jackie Curtis. It's oh, a letter to Jackie Curtis. Nice. Dear Jackie, I don't know if you'd like me, or if you thought I was too straight, but if I ask that before we begin, I want to say that the world is coming up for me so differently than it did for you, so I might be cut some slack, might be, but that might not be possible too. The dirt so less appealing are gone altogether, and everything's getting swept up in big canisters taken off to, I thought New Jersey, but probably not. <laughs> We've been whitewashed bare, and I don't know how to mess things up and still eat or get around the city, and I'm afraid of a bicycle, not because I can't ride it, it's because other people can't ride it or <laughs> to be riding it. <laughs> So I'm asking you, Jackie Curtis, when the stockings come to be ripped from a company who sells me already the appearance of individual individuality, while the CAO takes that money and denies me getting married, how am I supposed to do anything? I guess I'm writing this poem to you because you're the only person I feel like understands it. Even though I write it on a program I paid $250 for, so <laughs> people would take my writing seriously. <laughs> Jackie, it's 2013, it's 250, get on the subway. I don't know why those things are connected, but they are. Convenience is a fungus, and New York is safe. Alan wrote to America, but I don't trust her anymore or any of them, even the ones I know, even friends. My count is 1,722, and if I post it to this wall, I might get a like, but I'm looking for understanding. <laughs> <laughs> the road to like is wearing tap shoes. The road to understanding is cobblestones. It's treacherous, you fall. It requires something less with a click. <laughs> I can't address America because she's not there anymore. She's not the long-suffering Evangeline of Huey Long or something I would go off over there to fight. She doesn't want to be waited for or rescued. She lives in a junior four with a nanny and a husband and a hedge fund. And each other. <laughs> it doesn't recycle because what does that really do? And I do not know her. I do not know to talk to her and I do not want to. So instead, I am writing to the country of you, Jackie Curtis, that lost shore like Atlantis, all gone with heroin and the peers and David Wojnarowicz and everyone cool I moved here to meet who is disappeared. I write to you, Jackie Curtis, a boy in a dress with teased hair, standing in the door of the way up three days on speed and writing manuals on not only how to live, but how to live in a movie. <laughs> I miss having never known you. I miss you like a tooth licking the gummy absence and knowing, knowing that something, something is missing, Jackie Curtis. So I'm writing you to know and ask, how do I fill this gap? Maybe you know where it is because you're gone. And Jackie, we're starving, but we're fat. 
We're struggling, but we're able. We're drowning in a puddle because the depth is being something we don't have anymore. We gave up for availability and promise. Jackie, I have made choices, terrible choices, my reckless, equitable choices that to yours only now seem less dangerous. I can't take heroin because I'm genuinely non-committal and I don't want to burn. <laughs> I can't, I've decided to write, I've decided to write poetry, which seems useless, and plays, which seem unheard. And I have decided to be in the theater, which, believe me, you have no idea. <laughs> I am Amish in my own culture. <laughs> I am writing telegrams in a world of email. And maybe I think, Jackie Curtis, you wore all those old lady Italian morning dresses because you knew it was coming. Maybe you knew that you lived in a special time and you wanted to mourn for the rest of us that wouldn't be around to see it. And maybe your burning out was not some sort of failure or some sort of early premonition of things to come, but just a bow to a world that you created and were finished with. It's not nostalgia I feel at this moment because nostalgia is just another form of overlooking all the things that happened. I can't feel nostalgia for a time I wasn't part of, but I can't feel nostalgia for the time when I would have been arrested or I couldn't have dated the people I like, or I couldn't have talked to the people whose skin or genitals or anything were different from mine. And when I walk around Manhattan, I still try to look like Whitman, <laughs> which is silly because no one knows who that is. <laughs> people say Oscar Wilde because they think he's clever and gay and you must be clever and gay, but Actually, it's Whitman. <laughs> I want to learn Chinese because I want to know what those little old ladies are saying on the subway, not because I want to be more of a free market agent. <laughs> I want to ride the subway because everyone I know has a story about the subway and I want to collect them. I give plastic bottles to people on the street because... I think you're smarter than me. They realize that we're living in a garbage collection of a culture, and they're making money off of it. And I've decided to write plays. Mm -hmm. Jackie, I don't know if we would have gotten along. I don't know what we would have said when we meet each other, if we ever will. But I'm asking now, what's left? Because I can't see it. And there's a trout swimming in front of me who has all the answers. P.S. I got called Dorothy Parker today. <laughs> and half the people who heard it didn't know who she was. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. <laughs>